all these things are there and that is the reason why i was telling you these are the things that bring i uh, brought christ on this earth christ came to destroy all these things we have two powers in this world god and satan there's no two ways about that and uh, god has given everybody his will if you want to save him fine but save him and see whether you'll be just like as you are you will change you know so i personally have tried the the, the black one we impressed somebody when i was in kotoko when the man came everything will be given to me to go to the stadium then i told the man no i don't understand before you came i was scoring when you came i'm still scoring why don't you give the concussion to another person to help me he also have to score so that we can score more he said i say wait after the match we talk and after the match he came he tell me he said hey, did you want and this is how i chop life you don't spoil my work <laughs> so psychologically that is how people also get their some, money some also look at some of these people as charlatans they, they really uh, don't add anything at all there are people in the team who are that taking their cards they also take their cards yes that is where they get their chop money yeah i remember when i became a pastor myself and butchery Kotoko versus 11 wise in second Takrade. And we saw somebody with uh, the Malam concussion in a bottle. What I was telling you. And uh, I told Buche, so we have prayed before this match. When we win, who will receive the glory? Is the Malam or God? So Buche collect the bottle and just break it. So Buche intentionally just handled the bottle and just broke it. But we beat 11 while it's trained there. Brother, when we came back to Kumasi, he reported the two of us to the official, not knowing that is where they get their chop money. Yeah, they all take their cuts. This is it. Okay. So, uh, so, yeah. so, so it can also be abused. I mean, people uh, this just... This is it. Yeah. You know, I have a question, though, for you. You you gave us a background. Um, you had to be introduced to fetishism, mm -hmm. to spiritism, mm -hmm. but yesterday you were a Methodist. Yeah. And I'm sure those days when you go to your Bible school, they will tell you read your Bible every day, yes. pray every day, yes, and 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 so you listen to all that. But when it comes to football, you still double into other things. I'm just trying to get a balance. It is from that when I had a pastor who said, "I say the football is a gift from God." So the black that they do in the clubs and you know, try to abstain yourself from it, it is not good for you. I say, uh, and that from then I told the man who was giving me the concussion that before you came, I was scoring already. So why don't you give it to another person to help me? He, when he scores and I scored, our, our team has won. So you began to question it. This is it. And the, the man told me plainly that, I said, I beg you, that is where I get my job money. So let it be so. No. You, you actually give testimonies in this book about a game you played where a footballer from the opposite side scored a goal yeah at Kofod, yeah. he got mad yeah. jumped the fence yeah. and into the bush they had to go chase him chase him yeah surely i remember it was a league match very tough versus that is the mountain at Kofod, yeah. yeah that is the name of the mountain and that was given to the team a crucial match and that was the only goal that was in the match that the boy scored and he got mad he jumped the fence and they had to chase him and go and bring him here. A very good friend of mine, Suri. Very talented footballer. And you see, the, 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 that is the spirit of the boy you know, was a bit low for him to score a goal against Kumasi Asante Kotokon. And that brought those things. Later, uh, he became fine and, uh, and uh, that is where we started just getting away from those juju and what nots. In, in Kofobia, I remember Corner Stars. That is the, 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 the best coast team in that area where I, myself, and uh, Ibrahim Sadi, we came from that team. And uh, most of us were in the premiership after our course in the uh, So, as for the black and the white, no, Christians have their diets. I believe in the only spirit that god has given to us that is the holy spirit 
we have the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And as for the Holy Spirit, it's a spiritual thing that we don't see with our God, and that has transmitted his, himself into Jesus Christ. If you want to see God, as Jesus said, anybody who has seen me has seen God. You know? The Holy Spirit gives directly, just like the Spiritism that we were talking about, but it is genuine from God. You know, so when I was told that mine is a gift, so I shouldn't do that. The first time I did it is when I was uh, asked with Robert Mensah to go and see the chief linguist of Ashanti, whereby what he did to us for the first time in my career as a footballer, I've never even had a scratch that day I broke my leg. Wow. Play against Tamale Sabana Stars, not even a premier division. Though. I broke my leg and at the hospital I, I had a dream that the pastors were telling me we told you that you are not not up to that stand so I, I shouldn't do that so when I became fit then I told the officials leave me alone well, it was still in this thing not knowing that is where they get their job money hmm. one match I have warm up completely a finish that we are going to start the match before they brought in a black concussion that they have to use blade in cutting my legs and put it, the black thing inside. As I said, blood will Brother, I, I was lucky the uh, hose was red. Blood. It cut you. Oh. All right. <laughs> we'll definitely have to come back to this. <laughs> but let's, let's do a quick break and we'll be back with more. There's, there's still a lot more to talk about playing with the Black Stars and winning in the 65, 65 Africa Cup of Nations, the Olympic Games, and the turning point in his life after this. What role does Juju play in football? How about faith in God? Does the belief in superstition help people to achieve their purpose in life and sports? Players have their own uh, preparation, you know, like, like before you go out to play you'd have your own preparation, like the way you tied your boots. Somebody will give you a talisman to put in your um, bandage or your anklets. So it's at a younger age, it sent us to the beaches to put candles and all those things, and then they start to invoke things. Watch sports personalities as they share experiences of their beliefs in superstition and faith in God, drawing and after their careers. On Heart and Soul, a program that explores the relationship between religion and superstition in sports. Heart and Soul. Hello there, most welcome back to Heart and Soul. In the studio with me, Reverend Osekofi. Yes, I mean, that terrible experience of you being cut just before a game, blood oozing, so they call it in set. Uh, is it a talisman, a special object? No, that was uh, the black powder. Black powder. Uh, called in the language in you know, motor. Wow. Mm, that so, was put in. And you have to play through the pain. This is it. Brother, uh, it's not a yoko. It's not a yoko. And you know, it was being done by the whole team. So if you refuse and you are beaten, you will be responsible. So everybody was cut? Yes. Not me alone. You know, but what will you do? In all this, what happened? Later, we had a man of God who was a Roman Catholic. And uh, he introduced us into the Roman Catholic Church. We will go and ask for a Mass every Sunday morning. On Friday, if we have time, we will go to Bohon in Kumasi. It's just like a prayer ground that people used to go and pray. And I remember the Muslims, Ibrahim Sandi and I, they were all joining us to go to go home for those things. And uh, that year, the record that we made in Kotoko, we have never made it before. We didn't lost one match. The lose might be a draw. Up to the finals, when in Zaire, after a goalless draw, there should be a panel he said no, we have to toss a coin. Unfortunately, the interpreter that we took him, who speaks French, had when the Zairean were talking to the referee that when the coin is thrown up, before it touches down, they shouldn't let 
the coin that that they should just raise up their captain, showing the whole public that they have won. So when we heard this, now then we reported to the referee that we will not allow the coin to be tossed. So it was declared a draw. Not knowing, we were told that we will hear from the calf mm -hmm. that we have to go and settle the match in Cameroons. A letter came to the Ghana Football Association. We didn't hear anything from it. By the time we got to know, they have gone to Cameroon to collect the calf without the knowledge of Kotoko. That year, that was the record Kotoko made, that we didn't lose one match. It was a cheat that they used in just claiming the calf from there. So uh, I don't see any reason why when we come back to God, uh, we were still not just half victories. You talk about your particular relationship with Robert Mensah. Mm -hmm. The fact that the two of you had similar, you know, um, stories to tell after a particular act, whether it was spiritism, whether it was purification, but, but that really left an indelible mark on you. Yeah. You know, it was the two of us. When we came from England, when Kotoko went to England for a training tour. When we came back, we went to Cape Coast. You know, we left when the league was being played. So when we came, we had to just play all our standing matches. It was one of them we came to Cape Coast. Okay. And do us beat us five in there. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think I was, I was a I was not so bad, you know. Uh, 30,000. I happen to play more. Now, what kind of number Nigeria was <laughs> okay, which the way they abuse the disadvantage. <laughs> so, after that, you know, we have to lure Robert Mensa into Kotoko. And uh, truly, Robert was a spiritual man. And where he got his spiritism was he was first in the Independence Football Club, which belongs to uh, Amrosi Yankee. Mm who was a security officer to Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Okay. So independence were under Yankee, who was the head of the security. So they were all security officers. So when the coup came, they were all arrested and put to prison. So it was where Robert learned the spiritism matter. Robert was a very strong spiritual man. Before a match on Saturday, uh, the way I scored him one day, he didn't understand. He was quarreling with me in Kotoko since he just came in. In the secret, he would come and just confide in me. I said, tomorrow we have three goals. And if we score the three goals, if we even get a penalty, anybody who will just attempt it will miss it. He was a very spiritually strong, but not in the Lord. We have a lot of spirits. And we have the Holy Spirit. And that is the reason why he died the way he died. And all those who use that spiritism, that is how they die. Very interesting. God is a spirit. And those that worship him should worship him in spirit and in truth. So if you want to deal with God, brother, if you are not a truthful person, you cannot succeed. So when we were asked to go and see the chief linguist to t that, uh, fortify us, we went, the two of us, and uh, we were given some concussion and uh, killed a, a, a small chicken for a soup and gave her one cow each, a sedia, the one that is on our currency. Yeah. I, sw I swallowed one, Robert swallowed one. But lo and behold, thank God, the day I was baptized with the Holy Spirit, I vomited it out. And that is why in the olden days, some of our elderly uh, people, they can drink some concussion. If they haven't vomited, they will never die. These things works. They are there. And I personally have seen it and tasted it and know it. That is why if you ask me, that doesn't mean this thing is stronger than the God we serve. No, 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 no. They are all there. And that is the reason why Christ came to destroy all this. You know, so I personally got to know about this. And uh, when the match in uh, Empriso that I got injured and got to know that there was something in football, 
that was the turning point that you were talking about. Yes, uh, can you tell us more about it? Because obviously you had experienced both. This is it. So for you to make a decision to only go with one, That's it, right. it meant you had met, you know, something that was greater than you. This is it. You know, we played across for folks in prior so Easter time. You know, the coast, they have the Easter there at uh, Christmas. Yeah. And uh, the match was 3-3. Three, three. And after the match, a friend of mine, a policeman, called Mr. Ankuma. Uh, just confided in me that I should just sleep with him so that he can get some greetings from friends with me. And uh, I asked permission from Kotoko, and uh, they gave me. And when we went to the house, and uh, yeah, the wife put some water at the bathroom for me to go and bath, and I just removed my trousers. He said, I said, have you got enjoyed? I said, no. When I have not seen the swelling, you know, there was no pain. But he said, ah, look at your leg. When I look at my leg, and then I got to know, no, there was something wrong. Who got me injured? Then I told him, because there was another match on Sunday in Kumasi against the Olympics. You know. Then I begged him to take me early in the morning to Kumasi. And one day we went to Kumasi. I went to the hospital. I was given injections and whatnot. Tuesday, Wednesday, my leg has got swollen. Then I went to the training grounds to see what was going on. And when Botry, our goalkeeper, the late, saw me, I said, what is wrong? I said, ah, I go to, when we were at Impriso, this is what I had. He said, no, 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 this is not normal. So wait for me after training and I will take you to somewhere. So I was sent to a pastor called Nyamiche. When he saw me, he said, aha, uh -huh, you, you don't believe in anything because your leg is swollen, you have come. I said, but uh, what are you talking about? I said, your leg is swelling. I said, anyway, that is why I'm here. No, so, as me, Pastor, I have seen it, but before you, for you to believe in what I'm going to tell you, you know, can you fast? I said, I want my leg to just be healed, so I will do it. He gave me seven days. And on the third day, I dreamt, and he told me I'll be dreaming. I will shoot, write every dream down. And the, the third day, I dreamt that three players were just around somewhere in the dream and one of them was my good friend though we were all friends so i tapped his back and he just said what are you doing here so i just saw you and i'm passing and that is i said i want to say hello he said you you are loved by god go and buy olive oil let the pastor pray over it and use it for your lucky to go a pastor did not tell you but you saw this in, I did dream. in my dream okay so i woke up and then I wrote it. Early in the morning, I, there was a store just in front of us. I went there, I bought the olive oil. When I just saw me, I said, uh -huh, what's on that? <laughs> you have a dream? I said, yes. Okay, what is, did you say? Then I narrated the story to him. I said, where is the oil? I gave it to him and he prayed over it for three days. Everything went up. It was then. I said, uh, so we don't use our plain eyes to play football, you have to pass somewhere. And that is my turning point, my conversion. So I started going to church from that. That is a spiritual church. As for Methodist, there was my school church. But this is a spiritual church. What is the difference? Uh, you know, there we clap and we dance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and there too, one thing I have noticed, the pastors have not one eye. They can tell you. You know, I dreamt apart from the what I suffer from my leg, you know. He told me I'll be dreaming, so what about dream I had? You know? And uh, one of the dreams, when I just shared it with him, he told me, ah, Kotoko will go to England and you are the only person that you will be bought. And truly really in nineteen sixty nine when we went to Stoke City and then I was asked to stay. You know, so these are the pastors that I'm talking about, that they have two eyes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that is the spiritual uh, church that I started. The, uh, you know, we were being taught by the Bible, the principles, what God can do that we didn't know, especially as I was just telling you that in my hometown, when you lost something or you lose something, you know why when you go there, you will find it because the person who took it, it is not for him. You know, so I learned all these things when I was a player. 
when I went to Accra House of Folks, I know Accra Great Agonos. I had a story there they told me that a player wanted to score a goal against Agonos who could not score and after shooting, you know, they were searching for the ball and the ball was behind the man. Uh, he became a hunchback. That is a his a hunchback. A hunchback. But there was a football behind him, at the back of him. So these things were there in those days. And that is the reason why this afternoon I, I was holding a Bible called the Coach's Bible. Yeah, We want to rescue footballers from these things. And uh, there is a group in Kumasi called uh, the Rescue Mission that they have now organized Kumasi churches uh, to play football every Sunday for them to be taught that it is not you do really but god also can help you know there's there's, there's a lot of myth uh, reverend there's even one story where they said a the football turned into a, a pot uh, something like uh, that. you know you saw the the film that we were watching yeah that the football was hanging without nobody yes. holding it it's just hanging there uh -huh. and then and then one to they said the goalkeeper i wonder if the ball is coming he sees the the, the football as a snake and so you know uh, he would dodge he would dodge uh, and, then they, when, uh, and that is what i was just telling you when the, the spirit of that player is not strong you know me i was i had the privilege of meeting some pastors who told me yours is a gift from god but in africa as you were saying if you do something extra they said we are very for <laughs> it is not very it was god himself because i got to know about the bible the pastors were telling me there are a lot of Bibles, quotations that I can use that I, I will go scot free without any hitch. Okay. And uh, if you want to, Satan himself will just tell Christ, if you, you say you are Christ, that turn this stone to be bread. And uh, Christ will quote him from the Bible. So as I'm sitting down with you here, if you just want to bring in any quarrel, I know the psalm that I have to use to stop you. Mm. You will stop. Okay. You, you you also recollect dealing with dwarfs yeah and it's i mean all this reverend that we're talking about i know there are a lot of people who will be watching and then sudden fear will come sudden dread will come upon them mm -hmm. because as we speak there's a current debate about the black stars in the use of juju mm -hmm. certain players born in europe don't want anything to do with the national team mm -hmm. because they say we we'll use juju too much mm -hmm. they come here we'll destroy other players will use it and destroy their careers so there's a certain fear element. Can you speak to any person, you know, with that sort of apprehension? I am happy to hear the person who said this and has been in football for quite a long time. So why should we argue with him? George Namago. I was happy this is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The only thing that I will just tell the officials that they have to get somebody to pray generally for the black stars and just introduce bible the bible i just show you was the coach's bible mm -hmm. which is plain for anybody you know we allow the muslims on fridays to go to mosque okay and the christians on sunday but when we meet when the Muslim play, then the Christian play, then we all join together. It's a united, for if you have Muslims and the Christians, are, that is black and white. That will work perfectly for you. But as you said, the reason why people are now fearful to come to the blast are because of the, you know, why don't they have a prayer group, Muslim, and a Christian. Fortunately for us, Ghana, we are lucky to have Christians and Muslims living together in peace. This is the first time in the world that people they don't even know, understand why Christians and Muslims. I remember we visited a chief imam. In fact, I did like the man. I didn't know why I have to love him because if you look at him, it is as if we can't see anything. But he read the Quran without glasses. Brother, this is a spiritual man. Who is a judge? It is only God. Sometimes we the Christians we, we condemn the Muslims and the Muslims also. No, God is the judge. So the, if we are able to bring the two together, brother, 
And if they want to set up some faith to look after the black stars, are, then I would suggest that people who have eyes, because somebody who can hide something to come and just destroy whatever you are doing. And we have people who have double eyes who can okay. just see all those things. Uh, Kotoko, the year we won the Africa Club Championship, the yeah. Muslims and the Christians came together. Sometimes we went to Bong to uh, pray at the Roman shrine uh, with Ibrahim Sadi and we won the cup and now. Okay. 